Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a review on a little bit hyped up, well it's been showing a lot of love through YouTube. I'm talking about this is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Primer. I actually purchased mine through Amazon. It was $16 and now I actually just checked Amazon and it's $19.99 or $19. So they did rack up their, their price which is matching up to Sephora's website which is about $20 or $18 so I'm not mistaken. Let me double check for you. So the claims of this primer is a light silky that pours out any wrinkles and enhancing the wear of makeup. Solutions for pores and even skin, tone, fine lines, and wrinkles. Um, no pore problem provides seamless coverage for concealing pores and an even skin tone while creating an invisible layer that acts as a barrier to outside elements. Elements. It leaves skin velvety smooth and fresh and completely proper flawless application. Has no parabens, sulfates. Um, I can't pronounce this word, but I'll write it down here somewhere. Uh, philosophy. It is cruelty-free, vegan, and hypoallergenic, which is hypoallergenic is really, really nice because it's not going to clog your pores or anything, and that's what I really enjoy about this. And I have I actually bought this in Amazon on July 2nd. I got it two days later, so it's like the Amazon Prime. You can actually see I've used quite a bit of it since then. And for my skin type, I am an oily girl, as you can see right now. I have this, like regular makeup it's nothing like too too fancy <laughs> anyways back to this primer this actually reminds me of the mineral veil hourglass if you've ever touched that primer it feels like that velvety soft primer i highly recommend you use a pea size of this because a little does go a long way i learned that the hard way as if i don't already learn that in all my other videos i don't know for some reason i just like to pile on primer you know, it's like when you get new makeup, you just want to pile it on. That's how I feel about primary. So <laughs> uh, that's what I have to mention about this. Also, when you apply it on, I recommend piling it into the skin. The skin because this will like go ahead and minimize the pores as well. And let this set for a little bit. It is a little bit wet and it feels a little bit silicone-y upon application. But once you like, you put it on, if you move on to like your brows or something, or you go this, you know, just do something else for like a minute or so, it'll sink into your skin. It'll make the foundation stick on better because if you just you know put this on don't let it sit and you right jump into foundation it'll definitely slip off so. so as far as the longevity of this primer i was really surprised of how long my makeup has stayed on in these summer days and i think it's because of my moisturizing and prepping my skin also this primer has been really helping me with that so if you are on the oily spectrum and you are like considering this but you're not sure because you know the girls like Kathleen Light and Rosia, they have dry skin so they were kind of like I love it but it's kind of hard for us oily girls to you know get with it with the program because we're both like on the opposite ends of the spectrum as far as skin type. So I can see if you are hesitant about this product but in my personal opinion if you are an oily skin girl, combination skin girl, I think you would absolutely love this. Also, for my dry skin girls out there, if you are dry, I think you'd really enjoy this. If you have a pore problem, this would really, really work for you. It does have a faint smell of a little fragrance. I can't describe the scent, but it does have a little faint smell. It's really, really faint, but if you are someone of sensitive skin that is a little bit kind of like on the iffy side about fragrances in your primers, I would highly suggest that you look up the ingredients because maybe something in here smells and you might be like not okay with it with your skin or your skin might not be okay with it should i say but it's nothing too overpowering or it doesn't linger on your skin or anything like that but again if you are sensitive skin um just keep that into consideration because you just never know but anyways i'll leave all that information in the description box and i think that's all i have to say if i missed anything or forgot to mention anything as always just go ahead and leave them in the comment section i'll be happy to answer it and thank you so much for watching and valuing my opinion. I hope to see you in my next video. Toodles! So I'm going to do a little demo of this primer so you can see what I'm talking about. I forgot to mention that there is a pump to this primer. I'm going to use literally like this much. I'm going to bring you up close so you can actually see the difference. And we're going to pat just a little bit. So this side has the primer and this side doesn't. It's still kind of like blurred out, not like fully, fully, but you can see like a little bit of difference. It's a little bit more matte on the side, and this is a little bit more shiny. I just want to show you up close. Hopefully, you can get a feel of it. I just hold my makeup literally for a really long time. So, I hope you enjoyed this little demo. Sorry, I'm like super all up in your face. <laughs> Anyways, uh,
Thanks for watching. Toodles.